Marvel stuff, Kevin Feige, Marvel Universe reboot, Burn, Actor, Secret Wars, Thor 5, Scarlet Witch. Let's see what worst you guys to say about this and check this out. In today's video, we're going to talk about all the most recent Marvel apparent inside information going around to do with Marvel going forward during this actor strike and writer strike. Why is there so much information coming out now? Why wait till now? Why keep saying before the actor strike started, your boy Wash you was in talks to. Oh, wait, they said to you, Jackman, didn't it? So, yo, what is freaking good YouTube? What's you here? If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and never miss any of the Marvel, Kaiju, Monteverse, pop culture based content. And I give you a take that no one else would give you. My takes are actually honest. Also, you can check us out on Instagram at Wash you to see her beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. And also, if you could check us out on Twitter, OSGG, aka X.com, right? Let's get into this video. So, for validity, let's set this up, right? We're currently drawing an actor strike and a writer strike. What does this mean? It means that Marvel cannot legally, DC cannot legally, Netflix cannot legally write anything new. They can have plans. The head of the studios can develop plans. Cool. As long as they're not part of the WGA. And then you're hearing crazy rumors about, oh, said actor was in talks pre-strike. Okay, the strikes, the writer's strike has been going on over three months. The actor strike's been going on five weeks, but you want to talk about it now. So, a fake story broke a few days ago about four or five being in development. And it's no mystery to me that all the Twitter scoopers are now paying to be verified because thanks to Elon Musk, you can now make money on posting stuff on x.com and twitter.com, which is cool. But is it not a coincidence that since this is happening, you you're getting people like my time to shine coming out with ludicrous stuff. Thor 5 is in development. No, it's not. I knew this was, wasn't true before I even read it. Like, the scoop. And this story went everywhere. TikTok, all the big Marvel YouTubers were talking about this. Thor 5 in development. No, it's not. Okay, my time to shine, a.k.a. Unfortunately, there is a good chance Tiger TV will return to direct. No, he won't, but it is not a deal, done deal. I'd like to see someone like Sam doing it. Okay, hold my beer, Variety. Variety comes out and says this. Variety made a point to say Thor 5 is not in active development in their article about Tiger Waititi's comment. I almost feel like, respectfully, a lot of people don't actually vet the information they're given because this is really, really old information. Also, I feel strongly these Tiger with T quotes were him talking about Thor 4. In a press cycle, he said multiple times he used Gore because he wanted a formidable villain on Hella's level. Quote below allegedly references Thor 5. Anybody reading this would not think this is about Thor 5. What is left to do with him? It's got to be something that feels like it's carrying on with the evolution of the character. But still in a very fun way and still giving him things to come up against that feel like they're building on the obstacle that he has to overcome. I don't think we can have a villain that's weaker than Hella. I feel like we need to step up from there and add a villain and that uh, is somehow more formidable. This is taken from a Thor Love and Thunder book, okay? So this is how information breaks. Someone tweets this and then all of a sudden you get all the big creators on TikTok and YouTube talking about stuff like this. And this is why I'm not a reactionary person who jumps on stories and respectfully it's cool whatever people cover but I think people need to vet their information more because this is clearly from the Thor Love and Thunder book talking about the Thor Love and Thunder movie. Tiger Watigi, although he's a very good director, arguably. Free Guy, he did, with Ryan Reynolds, was great. Thor Love and Thunder, missed. But Thor Ragnarok, great. So do you see my point? Ever since Twitter now pays people to get traffic, you need over 5 million interactions and over 500 followers, which is, you know, most people can do that. These stories are going wild, so I would say take a lot of these stories coming out until the writer's strike and actor strike is over with a massive pinch of salt. So then we get Bagels comes out. Avengers Secret Wars is very likely setting up a soft reboot to the entire MCU. Kind of like what The Flash did. Are you for real? Are you literally mm. for real? And people actually thought this was real. Avengers Endgame did a soft reboot. There's no Robert Downey Jr. 
There's no Chris Evans. There's no Scarlett Johansson Black Widow. There's already been a soft reboot. So, oh my God, and it got 1.1 million interactions. So people are literally making money from tweeting and stuff. Is that obvious? Yeah, who is you? You're just jealous because you have no following. Really, bro? If you follow me on Twitter, WallStuG or x.com WallStuG, I barely tweet 20 times a week. Do you really think I want to use Twitter, no. So, and then we get all these wild stories, and I do believe this. The Jackman is going to appear in Secret Wars. He was in talks pre-strike. Tobey Maguire was in talks pre-strike. Your boy War Stu was in talks pre- well, Actually, I'm not part of Saga, so yo, Marvel hit me up. It wouldn't be the first time. I'm not part of Saga. I, I could literally sign on right now if you wanted me to. So we get it. Secret Wars will be a hard reboot. Not a soft reboot, a hard reboot. Because all the Dons, all the top Gs, all the top people won't be around after Secret Wars. If the alleged rumours are true, the, the next phase after the multiversal saga is going to be the mutant phase. It will be brand new X-Men. It won't be the Fox first, because the Fox first will get killed off either in Deadpool 3 or by the end of Secret Wars. So what I find fascinating is a lot of these rumors and you know alleged scoops and stuff that ironically there's been so many more. Ghost Rider Cirrus was in development. Scarlet Witch is not in Deadpool 3. She's in Deadpool 3. She's not. She is. The same people that said she's not in it are now saying that she's in it. Then she's not and then she's just like all right lads we get it. You're trying to get your Twitter impressions. You're trying to get your X impressions and respectfully I'm not trolling, I'm just saying it's a bit of a coincidence how now you get paid for Twitter or X.com there seems to be a hell of a lot of more scoops coming out during a strike, during an act as a writer strike when no one can officially sign a contract because they're striking and no scripts can be developed and you can't get people signed on without a script. Okay, you could for Secret Wars because we know Battle World, they're gonna merge all the universes into one. We've all heard the leaks and the rumors, and generally anyone with common sense can be like, yeah, the multiverse is gonna be dying because of the incursions that occurred in Doctor Strange 2, and that's the reason why Korea showed up in Doctor Strange. It's quite obvious where they're going with Secret Wars. You don't even have to be a comic book nerd to be like, yeah, Kevin's trying to get absolutely everyone in Secret Wars so they can break 2 billion, so they can get numbers back like they were in Endgame. And let's be honest, except for Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Thor Love and Thunder did 800, Doctor Strange 2 did over 900, Wakanda Forever did over 800. Marvel's numbers have still been pretty high, so Marvel does not have a problem, it's just they missed with Ant-Man 3. Of course, of course Marvel were going to miss, so... I feel like a lot of this information coming out is just absolute nonsense. Still, while the current rumor could be that Avengers Kang Dynasty is about setting the new Avengers up like Shang-Chi and Miss Marvel, that's not going to go down very well. Whilst Avengers Secret Wars could be the MCU legacy multiverse characters come together to save the MCU to re-establish a sacred timeline once again. It's just a bit strange how during a strike we're getting all these exclusive scoops courtesy of the usual suspects. All of a sudden they can now make money on Twitter from tweeting nonsense. And don't get me wrong, a lot of these rumours aren't even true, they're not even new. It's obvious we're gonna get a soft reboot after Secret Wars. We got a soft reboot when Robbie Downey Jr. left, when Chris Evans left, when Scarlett Johansson left. The soft reboot's already happened. What is a soft reboot? Well, let's go over to my friend James Gunn. A soft reboot is when you can have any character you want, if they work for you, if they're your friend, if they're, if they're your partner, or if, if you like them, if they're your brother. Basically, anyone you want to stick around can stick around. Some things may be the same, some things may be very different. A soft reboot is essentially what the Flash movie was trying to do, where it was supposed to set up a new universe where some characters were supposed to stick around and there'd be some different characters, some different actors playing new characters. But let's be honest, we don't know what the freaking hell's going on with the DCU do, except for they've hired a new Superman. Seems like John Cena Peacemaker sticking around, Margot Robbie sticking around as Harley. Most of the DC extended universe isn't changing the DCU. So soft reboot, I believe they actually will get rid of a lot of people after Secret Wars because it's supposed to be the mutant phase, the mutant phase is coming. So realistically, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say some of these rumors could be true. They might not be true. Don't take it as gospel just because you see a video on TikTok and someone say, breaking news, Saw 5 in development. And then you actually read where it came from. And it actually came from information from a book that was released over one year ago. You have some people going, breaking Thor 5 in development. The day later, breaking it's not in development. Just chill. 
You know the realest dude on YouTube on the internet is your boy, War Shoe. Like always, check out every kind of YouTuber, every kind of TikTok page for your information. But just take it with a massive grain of salt because most of it's not actually most likely going to be true. But we don't know. It's rumor territory. It's speculation. But to talk about it like it's gospel because it comes from these so-called insiders. I mean, don't get me wrong. Most of these insiders have actually been wrong about a hell of a lot of stuff recently. This whole Wanda's in, Deadpool 3, no, she's not. Yes, she is. Who is freaking right? Let me know down below. Which scoop do you okay? Are they actually? I don't actually believe a scoop is personally myself, but which scoop do you actually believe? What do you want Marvel to do? Who is going to be in Secret Wars? Please sign War Stu for Secret Wars. People need the War Stu cameo. So, like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at War Stu to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. And I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later. Subscribe, like this video. Have a great day, and see you guys. Bye.